It's a be another beautiful day. Another beautiful day. We here at the we here putting it down. G Body Extreme Restorations, man. We're putting it down. We're making a little bit, a little bit of progress every day on this. I'm not rushing this. This can come together in a matter of a couple hours, everything. Down to the fuel rails, coil packs, and all of that. Okay. Um, front grill. Took the front grill out and taking the front, well, the core support out. Three bolts on each side, basically, and uh, it's pretty much loose. I have to give me a good, reliable cameraman, man. I need a cameraman that, or a tripod or something, where I can just let the video go without editing it like it's alive, so you can see everything. I hate stopping because then I have to go back and, and edit different things out and stuff like that so you don't get lost on this build. First time doing this, uh, the YouTube thing or whatever. Okay, and my kids consider me an old man. I'm only 43 years old, but see, I'm an old man. I don't know technology. They don't know that I'm, but we, we the boom of the technology era. My, 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 uh, my era, we the boom of the rock music. It, it was born when I was, when I was a kid, rock music came in. You know, you had them old school rappers, L O Cool J and a lot of East Coast rappers. That's before the, the gangster rap era with Ice Cube and NWA and Dr. Dre and all of that, Snoop Dogg. That's before that, you had the Furious Five and whatever you call them or whatever, but uh, enough of that. This one still has the, the fuel lines the, and the fuel pump. So we're gonna remove all of that neatly, and then we're gonna get started. As soon as I get this core support out, we get started on that firewall back there, the ugly firewall, and clean that up and make it look real good, make it match that engine over there, so everything is stealth black. Down to the brake booster. I want everything stealth black in here, everything stealth. Well, let me get this support out and I'll, I'll cut you back on. All right, family. We back, man. And uh, yeah, we just snatched it out of there. You know, I need room. I'm a big guy. Climbing in here, right here. Sanding that back wall down, that far wall down. Getting everything even out. Deleting the holes in the far wall. Deleting everything in that far wall back there. I'm not getting it smoothed out, getting it looking good. You open that hood, you see nothing but satin black, all satin black back there. Well, gloss black. Got it down. She up there, safe and out the way. Had to take everything off that shelf. So time to clean up the shop. The shop, I know. The shop needs some TLC. I, I, I swear to you, it'll be back on track. It'll be back on track, getting this together right here. Taking it nice and slow because the car was painted. I paid, you know, paid a lot of money for this truck, and it was painted. So we're trying to keep it minimal scratches as possible. Minimal. You know, I can't do it without getting some kind of scratches on. But the good thing is, after I'm finished with everything, the swap is complete. It's going in back in the paint shop. Not get a respray. This is get a refinish. Man. Go ahead and have them buff it back out. Or I can do it myself. I don't have to go in the shop. I can do it, do it myself. Buff it back out. Probably has about probably 15, 16 coats of clear on this thing. It's shining. It hasn't been washed in two months. And it's still, you can still see the reflection in there. You see that? See the finger smudges and all that? So much clear on this bad boy, it's been clear so many times. All I have to do is take it and, and buff it back out. That's it, that's all. Let me get the, all of this cleaned up for you. And then we'll start the process of setting that back wall down. The fire wall, set it down, get it looking good back there. Not in the run of all tools, man, but keep it. Boy. We doing the extreme. 
This far wall eats me alive. I don't like this far. I don't like this right here at all. I don't. I don't like this at all. This is ugly. That's what I'm talking about right there, man. Hey, look, look here, man. Look here. When you spin it, when you're spinning that bread, man. You're spinning that bread, man. You you're looking for the perfect, the perfect package, man. They pretty, man. They pretty. Too good to be true sometimes, man. Like I told you, man, this is a competition. This is a sport, man. It's a man sport, man. Motor sports. G Body Extreme Motorsports, man. We coming and we coming correct, man. We coming correct, man. Just look at, look, I'm gonna let y'all see the setup. This ain't no racer right here. It's gonna look pretty. It's gonna have the power too. But if you decide to pull up and and, and y'all with that bullshit, you decide to pull up on me and you with that bullshit, man. I'm, I'm gonna light your ass on the front days. That's 30s, man. I'm gonna light your ass on these front days, man. Uh, yeah, she for real. The ass is tucked, huh? The ass is tucked. She for real, homie. She's for real, homie. This one right here, homie. This is this is for real, homie. You say you're gonna say, oh yeah, I seen one like this one before. Oh, my buddy had one like this, man. Stop lying. Stop lying, man. Stop telling them stories, man. Sitting up over a beer telling stories, telling lies, fabricating shit, man. This is a sport, man. I'm competing for the title, man. I done seen some nice ones, man. I done seen some nice ones, man. Don't get me wrong, man. The C10 game is a serious game right here. From 73 all the way up to 1987, man. From 73... To 87, man. Bring them trucks out, man. We can always we can already get the new ones with the new technology, man. We get the new one with the new technology, man. We get them to get, bring out the GMC Sierra or the Denali. You take your pick, man. I'll hit you over the head with either one, homie. We gonna hit you over the head with either one of these, man. No, I'm just messing with y'all. I'm just messing with y'all. Just talking some shit. You know how car guys do. They think they know everything and they get to talking like they the, like they the king shit of everything. You know. Just a startup, man. Can't wait to can't wait to put that together and put it out there for the world to then see it and then y'all be the judge of it. Something that's built for my my imagination, how I want every everything I wanted this truck to look like so far, it's coming together. When I first seen the truck, I had a vision of the truck. I had a vision of this truck, and I knew how I wanted it to be. I knew I wanted big wheels on it. I knew I knew it was already black, so I just had the rims painted to match. The black on the truck. 